hi guys how you doing i hope you guys are doing good because i'm doing amazing so i'm going to be giving you a tour of my house today i really didn't want to do a tour now because i wanted to wait till i had finished decorating and arranging the house properly and just doing this and doing that but i just thought against it because it is actually stopping me from moving on with my life and filming like my regular vlogs of different places of my house okay so i decided to just do the house tour anyhow okay my kids are even at home my kids are in my bedroom okay so i just pushed them to my bedroom so that i can film the house just the way it is no professional angles or anything like my kitchen video this is just vlog style okay so just walk with me i wanted to open the front door and like welcome you guys in <laughs> but my neighbor the house opposite here i could see them there and i'm like nope first of all i felt like really shy filming in front of them and then number two i don't even want them to know that i am a youtuber okay like no so this house came furnished i'm going to say that like a million times okay this house came furnished so most of the things i'm going to be showing you came with the house but i'll point out the things i either you know bought here or brought from nigeria okay all right so this is the front door and that is the letter hole um yeah this came with the house yeah so basically kids are in here this flower came with the house this stuff came with the house so it was just like this i just put this basket this basket was actually somewhere else in this house like it came with the house but i rearranged things and brought this basket here so that we can keep all our keys here like car keys and the house keys so that it's easy to just grab here and you know go out the door okay and this is sophia's car <laughs> that's sophia's bicycle so anytime we go on walks she basically rides this bicycle my husband bought the one that had you know like a handle just so that i can steer her steer her properly okay to the right here or to the left yeah to the right well if i come in at the left you have this small corner and this is where the internet is I don't know what this is but this was how it was when we entered the house we didn't do much to it yeah so those are umbrellas and yeah but that's the internet that's the internet carton i don't know what this is maybe the heater or whatever but yeah or oh, is it the circuit breaker let me even see i don't even know why i'm opening this thing safe uh yeah it looks like the circuit breaker or something so yeah this is the coat rack this coat rack came with the house and you know it's a coat slash shoe rack so we have shoes under here um, those are the kids school shoes i also put my canvas here but it's not there right now i'm washing it but yeah that's it on your left and then to your right is where you have you know this and this okay now going in we have the staircase here most uk house stores that i've seen there's always this staircase here so when you go in this is under the staircase this is sophia's corner right so because sophia does not go to school i actually just decorated this corner for her that's her book um trolley right it's like a very slim bookshelf so she has books and so many other stuff on it so i also put this little rug for her and then inside her tent so this is what is inside her tent nothing much just her pillow and some stuff she's already stained this one with crayon i don't really care though i just allow her you know enjoy herself here however i think i might remove this tent eventually because whenever she's here reading i can't really read with her i'll have to be my body will have to be like on the road which i don't mind but i just feel like if this tent wasn't here maybe i could enter with her maybe just lie down beside her and we can read together but yeah so she has all her books crayons pencils coloring books accessories whatever they are in there so that's to my left and then to my right i have the living room okay so this is the living room everything here pretty much is how the house was okay let me reduce this lighting a bit yeah so everything in here pretty much came with the house but i'll point out the ones that i added okay some of them might be familiar to you guys okay so first of all i added this flower here i brought it from nigeria i haven't finished fluffing it out i haven't even done a lot in this house to be honest but yeah i'm supposed to fluff out these flowers a little bit but i think what i'm going to do is use my steam iron and see if it will because this is basically plastic i'll use my steam iron and see if it's just expand the bits because i tried using my hand but it's not working like some of the flowers are bent so like i might just try using my steam iron to just steam it let me see whether it will it will change but it's okay i mean for what it is it's okay um these ones came with the house these ones came with the house this thing came with the house i have a record player that i brought from nigeria 
I was supposed to put this here, but I thought about this. First of all, the record player is big. And if I put a record player here, I wouldn't need this because this is a speaker and a radio and all of that. I wouldn't need this. So I just left their own. My own record player is still packed inside the garage. But I wish I had my record player here because, you know, that record player, the color, the color of the record player also goes with the color of this living room so i might still put it anyway i think i'll put it actually i might still put it but if i put it i have to remove theirs but yeah this candle came with the house i wanted to remove it i haven't just gotten around to removing it but i'm going to remove it because i don't need it um yeah then this chair here all these ones came with the house all these decorations there are more things in here but i removed them because it felt too much so i removed them and you know use them to decorate other places in the house that place as well so this stand as well came with the house but this ps5 is my husband's ps5 but this tv we came with it from nigeria it was the tv that was in my living room upstairs okay yes they had a tv here we took that tv to our bedroom because the tv that came with the house was a smaller tv but this one is okay my kids you know play their peers here and they watch tv here sometimes okay i never really watch it like i never ever really watch it then this straw blankets i came with it from nigeria these straw pillows i came with them from nigeria as well i don't know if you guys can remember them these are the only three i bought i gave out the other ones but i like these three so much so i brought them i'm still going to add more straw pillows like maybe different colors of straw pillows what is this thing here sticker so yeah, I'm going to add more when I calm down and I want to decorate. But for right now, it is what it is. I don't spend time here, so I don't really care about it. But when I want to decorate it very well, I will put it. And then this rug also came with the house. I'm not really a fan of this rug. I wanted to remove it because I came with a rug, but I haven't gotten around to removing it. But eventually, I'm going to remove it and put my own rug, okay? Because I'm not a fan of this rug. It's not bad. I mean, it fits the space. It's not bad, but I don't like it. And then this center table also came with the house. It had some decor on it, but I removed the decor because of my kids and because I didn't like the decor as well. So that was why I removed it. But yeah, that's pretty much the living room. I like these lights. Let me reduce the lighting well so that you guys can see. I like these lights. They are quite... Yeah, can you guys see it? Yeah, um, very nice. And that's a clock. So yeah, that is it for this living room. It's okay. It's quite cool. Yeah, nice. Yeah. So when you come out of the living room on your right here, you have the guest bathroom. Okay, okay guest toilet. Okay, so basically everything in here came with the house. There's a small toilet, the rug I'll call it, that's supposed to be here, but I'm currently washing it, so that's why it's not here but yeah this place we hardly use it to be honest we actually hardly use it and we've not really had visitors that come and use it it's only when let's say we are downstairs and my kids want to pee that once in a while they come here yeah this place is basically not really somewhere we use that often okay and this is the little heater you guys this thing is always on 25 i've tried to reduce it i've tried to I've tried, okay now i i have to put it on outside but we're not out we are in when i put it on in it was on 25 before it's on 23 now i need to reduce it because i'm always sweating someone pointed out in my video that how am i sweating in in cold uk oh my house is always hot though my house is always hot let me put it on 19 and see um if this house will get cooler and I switched to 25 again. I don't know if I'm the one that is not getting it right or if it's just the way, if it's maybe this is the reading of the temperature in the house, but this is the reading of what it's supposed to be, I think. Uh, let's see what happens in the next 30 minutes if everywhere gets cooler. Then to my left here, we have a little storage, okay? Uh, this is a little store. So this shoe rack came with the house. So we just arranged all our shoes here and let me increase the lighting more so these are all our shoes this is the water heater connection but yeah this is all our shoes okay we actually came with a lot of shoes um then this is my little hair trolley so this is what i used to make my kids hair all their accessories and google tigbo is inside here so all their accessories, all their hair stuff is inside here. I bought these containers in Nigeria. I use them to um, arrange their hair things just so that it's easy for me to access them when I want to access them. Um, yeah, Sophia packed all the, all the beads in here to use it as her food for cooking. 
So why I like this trolley? I actually bought this trolley from Nigeria. Can you remember it? If you guys can remember it, let me know. I actually bought this trolley from Nigeria and I absolutely love it because Anytime I want to make their hair in the morning, I want to just moisturize their hair, I want to brush their hair, I just drag this thing out. When I'm done, I put everything back and put it back. So, their hair things are never everywhere. Like, you never see their hair things scattered everywhere, okay? So, I bought this thing, okay? This thing, I bought it from Amazon. I just wanted something that will fit in here so that I can put my baskets. I bought this basket from Nigeria. Can you guys remember them? They were inside my pantry in Nigeria um, these baskets as well um, so that's mop buckets this mop this mop and the mop buckets came with the house that's my steamer handheld steamer that's my bucket I bought buckets here that's bucket for cleaning then that's my vinegar for cleaning I had to buy like two jars of vinegar because we have a hard water problem here I think it's a UK thing or even a abroad thing but hard water annoys me it annoys the hell out of me so i always have vinegar to clean all the faucets and all the stuff that gets stained with hard water okay um that's a small stool that came with the house this one inside here i just put some random orishirishi i don't really have a junk drawer so this is like my junk uh, uh, I don't know corner <laughs> so this one is my kids things whenever I want to play or want to you know do crafting and stuff I just bring out this basket for them these two baskets so that's what it is at this corner here I have my mops my brooms this broom and this mop actually came with the house but we actually bought some electric scrubber and stuff so they just enter in here conveniently I actually checked the dimensions of this place before I bought this and it fits perfectly okay so i like it i like it that's it so there is a basket that used to be here i'll show you guys today's laundry day so i removed it there's a laundry basket that used to be here i'll show you guys in a minute so yeah this is the store this is the toilet and this leads to the kitchen okay so you guys have seen my kitchen nothing much here to see oh what i didn't show you guys in the last video was um this water filter we actually had to go and buy a water filter because i don't understand this they are hard water here i wasn't comfortable drinking it so we had to buy a water filter to filter out the water um the kitchen is pretty much okay but i didn't try to arrange anything this is how the kitchen looks <laughs> okay uh i don't know this is an empty milk bottle here we need to trash this this is an ice pack. Eva hit her head, so let me put it back into the freezer. Let me put it back into the freezer. Uh -huh. So, today is actually laundry day, but I haven't started laundry, okay? But what we did is, so this is that basket I told you guys used to be under the staircase, right? It's not used to be, it's always under the staircase, except on days when we're using it. And the days when we're using it is laundry days, okay? I bought this uh, laundry basket so that we can sort clothes out when we want to wash. So it is never in use except on laundry days. So what we do is, like this morning, I told my kids to bring down their laundry baskets and sort their clothes here. So they always sort their clothes dark, light, and color. They did a pretty good job. As you guys can see, they actually did a pretty good job. Those are darks, these are colors, and those are white. Only one white here, or how many whites are here? But yeah, so they do a pretty good job with sorting their clothes by themselves. I don't know what spots this thing. I'll have to fix it. I think the glue that holds this thing here came up. Yeah, so I'll have to fix it, but this actually is a game changer. It helps me when I want to do laundry. The kids are able to sort their clothes here by themselves. And when I want to just load into the dishwasher, I just take one. Like all the clothes here now fit into one load of wash. Is that the English for it? Like this is one load, this is one load, this is one load. So yeah, pretty much. Um, Somebody left food here. I think it's Sophia. I covered this for her. She could chop and litter. Nothing like waste. <laughs> So this oil here, I still I want to take this oil away because this is one of the jars of red oil that we brought from Nigeria. When I tried to pour it out, it was frozen. Like I couldn't pour it out. So I had to keep it near the, what they call this thing? The radiator or is it heater? Radiator, whatever. I had to put this thing near there until it melted and I poured some out. And so I'm taking it back to the garage, but... I don't have energy to go to that garage now so it has been here <laughs> so it's been here but yeah unfailingly today i'm going to take it back to that garage so now this is the backyard right so from the kitchen you access the backyard 
let me adjust this lighting i'm going to adjust light entire today okay so this is the backyard nothing much here so when it's summer and it's convenient for planting i'm going to plant stuff around here like inside basket inside not baskets inside planters around just around the corner i'm going to plant like flowers or you know herbs and stuff just fun things to plant uh, some of those things came with the house uh, we've not done anything about it it's just how it was when we entered <laughs> that's it um those things actually came with the house as well that is the chairs and stuff that thing is actually a garden i think that's garden compost bin or something like that um but yeah breeze blew it to that place and nobody has bothered to go and remove it from there my kids like to have fun here they like to play there by the way you guys i don't know how i left port harcourt in nigeria and came to port harcourt in the uk because rain falls here a lot like <laughs> it rains a lot in this place like almost every day it rains in this norwich i'm like what is going on people don't have just cold weather that is not raining it rains a lot here so this is the potter cut of uk yeah i wanted to show you guys this i don't think i showed you guys this thing in the last video or i didn't talk about it so this is a vacuum cleaner this vacuum cleaner came with the house that is a dehumidifier it came with the house i use it sometimes okay like if i feel like the day has been really really wet or the kitchen we've done a lot of wet things in the kitchen i put it on in the night just to suck up all, all that moisture so that we don't have moisture problem uh what's this one okay this is my normal mop we also have we also have a spray mop and then this is the dryer that came with the house like the regular what do they call it hand dryer no not hand dryer anyway you guys know this thing now you set it up and spread your clothes on it but we rarely use it. i don't think i've ever okay i think i've used it only once when i washed uh outerwear but i haven't i rarely use it but i'm sure that during summer we're going to use it a lot okay so these are all the dishes drying this is the dishwasher always partially open so when you come out of the kitchen let's go upstairs so right from this place everywhere else is rugged okay so once you climb on this staircase you are going to be matching rug everywhere else except the toilets and the bathrooms okay so yeah all these things came with the house that flower was always here the flower vase with the bottle i'll be the bottle with the flower that's always been here but these other two were in different places i just put them here um this picture as well so once you come upstairs this is the landing and this is the bathroom so this is the kids bathroom hi <laughs> so this is my kids bathroom okay and yeah nothing much to see here nothing much to see here this is the second one of that planter one was here what's wrong with my autofocus now so this is the second one of that planter the two we are here i just removed one because it was just too much in my eyes this is a jar of detergent we always have detergent here because we hand wash my kids on this every evening so i always have detergent here i need to fill it up oh well cora needs to fill it up so i always have detergent here extra tissue and yeah so we just keep their toothbrushes and tongue scrapers here this thing this thing and this thing came with the house um yeah so this um peg i brought this in from nigeria we use it to dry their panties after washing it um so this is their soaps and sponges so i bought silicone brushes or silicone sponges because i heard that these ones are safer they don't have bacteria like the normal sponge we use in nigeria so i bought silicone sponges for them and yeah anyway um that's it so we have buckets here because they use buckets to have their baths so we also have another one there they have on this inside that's why i'm standing at this corner but yeah um uh, they soak their undies here so anytime they remove their undies they soak it here with some detergent and then before they have their bath at night they wash it and spread it there then they have their bath and we put on the heater a bit the extractor or whatever and then we're good for the night okay um so that's it about the bathroom nothing much here then okay let me go to their room so these are their rooms so this house is actually a four bedroom okay well well let me say it's three and a half bedroom because there's one there's one room that i don't understand why they would call that one bedroom because i don't know i don't know what kind of bed would fit in there <laughs> maybe maybe crib <laughs> anyway so this is their bedroom the lighting is off 
Yeah, so Cora's bedroom and then Ava's bedroom. Let's start from Ava's bedroom. So this bedroom is for Ava and Sophia. You can see there are teddy bears on the bed. That is Ava's reading corner. So here, I bought this table and I bought this table from Wayfair. It was small enough to fit into this corner, so that was why I bought it. I bought this table from Wayfair, but I bought this pegboard and the accessories from Ikea. I bought this lamp from um, Amazon. So I'm going to leave a link to all these things. I think you can get all these things on Amazon as well. So I'm going to leave a link to all of them on Amazon. I got this lamp from Amazon as well. So it's a reading lamp. This one is quite bright. Um, I bought this for Ava. So this is Ava's table. Then this is her curtains. So this room actually came with curtains, gray curtains. I removed the curtains because I couldn't stand the gray. This house has so much gray. Me that I used to like gray, this house has made me hate gray, okay? Because every almost everything in this house was gray. If I see the video that my husband made when he came to look at this house, I'll insert clips so that you guys will understand how gray this house was. So I had to switch out the curtains. I bought these curtains from Amazon. Um, this painting was here. I want to change all the paintings in the house, but I haven't gotten around to it because I have so many things to do in a day. You guys, 24 hours is not enough for me. So that is why I haven't switched that one out because I want to get something really, really nice and sentimental and put it there. Either we make it ourselves or I buy one, but I haven't found one that really speaks to me. That's why I haven't changed it. But when I'm ready, I'm going to remove their own and put it. By the way, by removing their own, I mean remove it, pack it nicely and keep it inside the garage and then whenever we're leaving this house we're going to put everything back okay so it's not like i'll remove it and throw it away no i have to arrange this house back for them when we're leaving but i just pray that we stay here long enough because i actually like this house i like the area and i actually do not want to move okay but you know never say never okay so this is their bed so the bed sheets and the duvet and duvet cover i got them from abba in nigeria and um, this is also my throw blankets i don't know if you guys saw it in my house in nigeria but yeah i bought this one from nigeria that's there is sophia's reading lamp even though she doesn't read anything but <laughs> she likes i couldn't buy reading lamp for her sisters and not buy from and not buy for her so here you have an ironing board it came with the house the wardrobe came in the house and those are some of our things a lot of these things came from from nigeria okay not a lot all of them actually everything here i brought them from nigeria so this one has my hair things okay this one has um i think they are extra bags yeah all their extra bags are in here you guys remember this toy i love it this toy actually stays here i don't know who removed it this is where it actually stays um then this one are my kids hair things but this one is for wash day so i don't bring it out often because this is just wash day thing so shampoo conditioner deep conditioner go to go is here and this is the wardrobe okay i don't know if i can show you guys what is inside i don't know if it's arranged but mm, okay it's arranged <laughs> <laughs> it's my husband that arranged the last time so i have a few clothes here let me oh, oh no let me increase the lighting yeah so these are my kids clothes but i just have like a few of my clothes here but these are my kids clothes mostly ava's uniforms and stuff um that's ava's bag nothing special here then in here we have their cream and their share butter then we have what's this one okay this is the this is a bed sheet. I don't know why it's folded like that. But yeah, so here we have their towels and here we have their extra bed sheets, extra pillowcases, extra, extra, extra. So I bought these things from Nigeria, even though I bought them on Amazon. But I bought them on Amazon to Nigeria and then I brought them along with me here and they have come in so handy, like really, really handy. Okay, now this one now this one i bought this thing here okay and it's a five tier um drawer set or whatever i don't know what to call it but yeah it's a five tier drawer set and i put stickers on it that says monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday i saw this hack somewhere on instagram okay so the moment i saw it i was like this is right up my alley i went ahead to do it so in here i put all the clothes that they wear on monday all the clothes they wear on tuesday this is for both sophia and eva so i put sophia's clothes eva's clothes on these 
night wear, everything they wear on Monday in here and like that, like that, like that. So right now it looks scattered because it is the kids that did it themselves. Initially, I used to do it myself every single time and arrange things perfectly, okay? But one day, my husband told the kids to go and do it and they did it even though they did Jaga Jaga, like, you know, just look at how it is. Even though they did Jaga Jaga, this one looks a little bit okay. <laughs> even though they did it anyhow, I mean it works, so I beg, must I do everything myself? I just left this for them, I beg. So, but yeah, everybody has nightwear, daywear, panties, socks, gloves, mitten, everything for each day. And another good thing about it is that I don't have to try to figure out what they are going to wear. I don't even have to dress them up, especially Cora and Eva. For Sophia, I still dress her up sometimes. Sometimes it's even Cora that dresses her up, but basically, I don't rack my brain about what anybody's going to wear because it's already sorted out here. On the weekends, we usually don't go anywhere, so they usually wear pajamas all through. But if we have to go out on the weekends, they have their clothes hanging in here. Okay, so that's laundry baskets. We brought that laundry basket from Nigeria. It's, it has come in really, really handy, okay? So that's it for Ava's room. Mm, very pretty room. Mm, not too much, just, it's okay. Um, this is the lights and the lampshade also in grey, if I had my way, I would use another colour, <laughs> you know, just to brighten up their room. But I think that after I changed the beddings and the curtains, their room now looks more girly. Before, I used to hate how their room looked because it was so grey and dull and annoying. And then this is Cora's room. Let me still reduce this lighting. Yeah. So this is Cora's room. You see those pictures? They gas to go, okay? Those frames or what would I call them? Paintings. They gas to go, but I haven't found a replacement for them yet. But yeah, they came with the house. Um, this is her bed, gray bed as well. But yeah, so this is her bedding. That's also her table. It's exactly the same type as Eva's on the same bedding, the same pegboard, the same accessories. Everything is exactly the type that Eva has. Same thing with the curtains, exactly the type that Eva has. Um, for bed sheets, they all have the same bed sheets. Like there's no Cora's bed sheets or Eva's bed sheets. Anyone you see that is washed, you take it and arrange your bed, okay? And that's her side table. It is exactly the type that's inside Eva's room as well. So this room did not come with a wardrobe, even though this looks like a nook for a wardrobe. We initially wanted to buy a wardrobe and put, but later on, we thought about this. What's really the point? Like, if we have to leave this house, are we going to carry that wardrobe? And, you know... We already have space for everything that they have right now. So we didn't want to start putting in a wardrobe that will now make us start, you know, basically start acquiring more things or basically just have empty spaces in for no reason. So this came with the house, this um, hanger thing. And it works, like it works for what is needed for. Those are my husband's jackets there. He's always hanging his jackets here. I wonder, I even asked him that, why do you hang your jackets in in, uh, Cor in Cora's room? And he was like, eh, he wants to hang it there now. But yeah, these are Cora's clothes. The clothes that are hanging are mostly her outing clothes and her uniforms. My husband usually irons all her uniforms and just hangs them. Even Ava's when he irons everybody's uniform and hangs every single uniform, which is fantastic for me. Okay, so this is Cora's drawer. The same thing as Ava's zone. Also tags Monday to Friday. It's a little bit more empty than, uh, than Ava's zone because Ava's zone has clothes for Ava and Sophia, okay, but this one has just Cora's clothes and yeah, she also arranged the clothes in there herself. So I think Cora tried a little bit to arrange her own even though it's not up to my standard, but whatever. <laughs> so these are her, uh, what do you call these? These are tights. So she has, she always has two in here, black and gray tights. So when she's getting ready for school, she'll just choose anyone and wear. So she has tights here, she has panties here, then she has the clothes she wear when she comes back from school and then this is her nightwear okay so that's how i pretty much arrange it same thing here nightwear her on this so she tried she, she tried i also brought this laundry basket from nigeria that's cora's school bag there so cora puts her laundry in here and then on laundry days she takes it downstairs sorts her clothes into the, that other laundry basket and it brings the empty basket back up these are her toys uh, that's it for Cora's room. So this is the rest of the house. So let me just go. This is my bedroom. Let me reduce this lighting. Okay, so this is my bedroom. I'm not going to be showing you guys inside my bedroom because my kids are there. Let me just say hi to them. Boom. Everybody say hi. Hi. 
<laughs> See how people have scattered my room. You clean up which mess? See, I clean up. You've not finished cleaning up. Oh. Why is my room upside down like this now? Anyway, this is my bedroom, so we didn't change anything. We didn't, you guys are just, your noise. Anyway, we didn't change anything. This is pretty much how the room is. But you have to arrange this room back. What is all this now? Anyway, so this is my wardrobe. So this is my wardrobe. Those are my bags. Then here, those things I told you I brought from Nigeria. So they help me arrange clothes well. So clothes are folded in here, folded in here. These are for our towels. These ones are dirty. These ones are for bed sheets. Those are my yeah. husband's clothes. And then some extra stuff is on that there. So these are my husband's clothes hanging up here. And these are my own clothes hanging down here. And that's the, I think we have the iron there. Uh, that is pretty much for this room. But yeah, this is the fourth room and this is our office. It is our office because my husband and I share this space. <laughs> I no longer have my own office, but my husband and I share this space. Um, and pretty much everything here came from Nigeria except the curtains. The curtains we are in this house. Um, but every other thing here came from Nigeria. That's the hand vacuum. We are charging it. This flower from Nigeria. That's the head for our spin brush. I think my husband was charging it here. I bought this one from Amazon. This thing, let me show you guys what this thing is. This this thing, I bought it from Amazon, right? And I use this thing to sort all our cables, right? So I have all my cables here, USB cable, USB-C, camera strap, all those things. So this thing comes in handy, like when it comes to sorting out cables. If you are a content creator and you know how we used to have cable problems, especially when you have so many gadgets and, gadgets and stuff, this actually helps it. It helps me keep all the cables separately and just easy to manage. Uh, some of them look like they're upside down. Yeah, you know, some things are upside down. Yeah, so this thing comes in really, really handy. I'm going to leave a link to it again in the description box. Like, get it for yourself. I use the printer. That's my printer for this. So, yeah, get it for yourself. These ones are empty. I think these things are for my husband. I haven't tagged them. I'll tag them soon. But yeah, these ones are empty because, you know, my husband, I left this part for my husband. I, this one is my own. So when he's ready, he'll arrange his own things here and I'll tag it for him. But yeah, nothing much to see here. If you watch my husband's office store in Nigeria, you would have seen all of these things there. But we don't have anything hanging because we're not ready yet. Even though I have bought command strips and stuff, I'm not just in the mood, right? So even these pictures are still here. I'm supposed to hang them on that wall, okay? I'm thinking of hanging them on that wall. But I haven't gotten around to doing it because... I have so many things to do, okay? I already have the command strips and everything I need to hang it, to hang them, but yeah, now go and hang now, we'll holler. Okay, so this is, yeah, printer. This is also like that Sophia. It's the same thing, but this one is six tier, while her own is five with a space for bigger stuff, but yeah, this one is six tier. So here we have all the mails that come in because we're always having letters and mails and stuff that come in. So I always keep them here until we sort them out, either we, attend to them or we just leave them here if they're not really important things but yeah all the meals go into this bookshelf and then this is my background you guys know some of these things some of these things we are from my husband's office in nigeria my books from my office in nigeria this lamp was here this lamp was actually where was this lamp i think this lamp was in eva's room yeah it was in eva's room i just removed it and brought it here First, the first reason is that I don't want to hear story for somebody will break it. But the second reason is that it's very pretty and I needed a background lamp for this space. So I brought it from Eva's room. It came with the house. Um, yeah, those are my stuff. Those are my stuff. Those are my stuff. These baskets came from a birthday gift that Nello gave me. So I kept it very well, okay? And then this one, let me show you guys very well. A friend of mine bought this for me. I actually like it, but I haven't gotten a space for it yet. So I just kept it here, Sha. It's, it still looks good where it is, but this one came from Nigeria. It looks good where it is, but I'm still going to figure out where to put it and, you know, the kind of plants or flowers or whatever to put inside it because I actually like it, okay? But, you know, it's going to be here for now. But that's it. I bought this thing from amazon as well okay so i bought it with the one that's under the staircase i bought both of them from amazon this thing here came from i don't even know where it came from so yeah i'm not even sure who dropped this thing but it's for you to donate clothes so i have some clothes in here that i want to donate to them that's why it's still here when i sort out more things i'm going to put it in here and then 
go and donate it okay so that's why this bag is still here but yeah that's pretty much it for the house store um yeah this is a four bedroom even though like i said that office i don't know which kind of bed <laughs> I don't know which kind of bed won't fit into that place. Maybe a crib or something. But I'm sure if you wanted to fit a bed into there, you can fit it. Maybe a floor mattress or a something. But anyway, that is our office. Yeah, four bedrooms, two bathrooms, and they call it two and a half baths. So two bathrooms and one, you know, visitor's toilet. Okay. Um, it comes with a garage, quite a, a, a very big garage, actually. Like the garage is actually very, very big. Like I wish. The garage came with windows i would have turned the garage to something else if the garage came with windows i would have actually turned it to something else but yeah it comes with a garage it comes with a parking space so we have a parking space where our two cars enter comfortably not even inside the garage so we don't park the cars inside the garage but our two cars park comfortably in the parking lots that is just beside the house and then we have the garden or the backyard and then the front is pretty simple i don't want to show you guys the front of the house but the front of the house doesn't really have much we don't have so much space in front of the house because that's where the road is so we don't have so much space in front of the house but we have a small area that you can plant flowers and you know you can just just decorate and make look nice um but yeah so even though there's a space there we don't even park our car there even though i've seen so many neighbors they park their car in front of their house but me i don't like it i feel like it's blocking the beauty of the house somehow so we park our cars to the side but if you have like three cars maybe you can park one in front of the house i don't know why you have three cars in the uk but yeah um any other information i know that you know one or two persons are going to ask me how much we are paying as rent in this house i am not about to disclose that information but all i can say is that it's not cheap okay this house is not cheap however it is cheaper than it would have been in other cities like maybe London, okay? I, I am sure that if we were to get a furnished four-bedroom house with a backyard and a garage and a, you know, two, two car par uh, parking lot and all of the things that comes with this house, if we were to get it in somewhere like London or Manchester or all of those other bigger cities, then it would have been more expensive. But for a Portacourt, Norwich city... <laughs> But for a Portacottish city, it's actually okay, right? It's not cheap. I'm going to say it again. It's not cheap. But yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. <laughs>